Hello everyone and Happy New Year. If you're new here, my name is Jemima and on this channel we share all things natural hair and lifestyle. So this video is a continuation of the previous video I posted which is part one of my hair fell out again. If you've not seen it, go watch that video and then come see this one or go back to watch that video after you've watched this one. So as you can see, I'm going to put a line of demarcation where I should really have cut in this video, but I wasn't ready for that cut yet, which I'm going to have to do sometime um, this month. So yeah, this video, I did the trim with the mind of growing my hair out slowly. But then after this video, I realized that I needed to cut a bit more off. I was experiencing a lot of tangles and I didn't like that. So I should really cut the hair here. As you can see, that's about six inches. So I've done another cut after this, but I still didn't cut enough. So this is going to be my third cut and that's going to get rid of everything that needs to go. And I'm going to do that for January. So I'm just showing you a comparison of my hair from 2023 January and the state of my hair from 2023 September. And as you can see, my hair has thinned out a lot. In January, that was the healthiest and thickest my hair has been in a long time. I had just recovered from hair fall that I experienced from stress. So I had just grew my hair out from that only to walk into this situation six months later. So I trimmed in August after I found out that my hair fell out. And then this is September when I filmed this video. So I'm doing a trim in September. But as you can see, my ends were really bad. I really needed to cut a lot more, but I just wasn't ready for that mentally. So here is probably the only place where I cut what needed to go. And that's the, the very front of my hair. So you will see that very soon after I comb it all out and do the cut. And I think I did, I cut what needed to go because I just wanted to see how much it will grow out and how well it will grow by cutting that. That's probably about six inches that I cut off. So yeah, that's really what I should have done all around my head. I don't know why I wasn't ready for that yet, but um, yeah. Also, I make a lot of ugly faces when I'm doing my hair. I don't know why, I don't understand why. So can we just ignore it? Just pretend it's not there, but it's hilarious. <laughs> so now I've moved on to the side of my hair and as you can see, compared to the side of my hair from January, 2023, my hair from September, 2023 is basically just see-through, the whole length or even just like halfway of the length is just see-through and it's awful isn't it really really bad so i really love the fact that i have footage to look over and compare this is something that if i wasn't a content creator that i wouldn't have access to so i love that and yeah, it's really great to be able to document my journey in this way. And I know that when my hair does grow back after I cut all the damage and everything that needs to, to go away, I will have this video of my hair being damaged to compare it to just to see how far I've come. So yeah, it's great. So even if you're not a content creator, try and document your hair, the health of your hair, the damage that is going through and just document the process because I find that it can be quite encouraging on the days that you're not feeling so happy about your hair. So as you can see here, I kept looking at the ends of my hair because I wasn't cutting enough. Even with what I was cutting, which was about an inch to half an inch, there was still more that needed to be cut. As you can see, the hair here from the back, it it sort of like fell out of my grip. So none of that hair is getting cut. So when I now bring it down and comb it out, I will find those hairs peeping through. 
so I really needed to cut a lot more so this hair that I'm holding right now that was that escaped when I was cutting from the top so that's what I mean I just wasn't cutting all the damage I was finding a lot of single strand knots my ends were all just knotted up So after trimming my hair in September, my ends were fine and then I put them back in twist and I didn't have my hair out again to wash it until December. So my hair was in protective styling for three months. So by the time it came out, it needed to be trimmed again and it felt really, really, really bad. Um, I don't know what I do in my twist, but I don't think I'm protecting my ends properly. So that's something that I need to look out for. So, so I think for me right now, every, trimming my hair every three months is what I need to do. So one thing I want to point out is that in this video from September, I'm combing half of my hair. In this video from January, I'm only combing half of my hair, but without the front part. And... The video from January, even though it's less hair, is a lot thicker than the video from September, which is literally half of my hair. <laughs> and that just goes to show just how much my hair has like thinned out. The contrast is just a lot. So you look at it, just see through. And this is half of my hair. So yeah, we've got a long way to go. I am really excited about getting rid of all the hair that needs to go. I really cannot wait. So as you can see, I there was still much hair that should have been cut. So I was feeling out for it and you know, it was just okay, but there was really more that I could have cut because I could feel it with my hands. Do you know when you feel your the ends of your hair and it just doesn't feel smooth? Yeah, that's where you need to cut and those were the ones that I was feeling for but I was happy to ignore them because I wasn't ready to cut all the damage off and in January my hair was 22 inches between 22 to 18 inches the shortest part was 18 inches and now i don't even know how long it is i'm not going to measure it i will only measure it after i've gotten rid of all the damage and then we'll know exactly how much i had to to cut off and how much length i've lost so now that i've trimmed this side i'm going to put it away and then move on to the other side I went off camera and did the left side of my hair and this is my hair all trimmed and I'm just going to show you what it looks like so as you can see it looks pretty okay even though some of the ends you know look a bit thin but generally it looks fine and I love that my hair just fluffs out it's very fluffy because even though I've lost so much of the thickness of my hair it doesn't look too bad I mean it could look worse So here's a comparison video of my hair from January 2020 before I trimmed and after I trimmed my hair and you can see the hair from January just has a bit more weight to it it's thick and it just it's it's heavy you know and then in September you can see the you know 
it's thick at the roots but then the ends are struggling a little bit so from seeing that i'm really happy for the decision that i've made to really get rid of all the damage because it doesn't make sense to be walking around with my hair looking like that it's just no it's a no no so now that i'm done i am putting it all in twists so once i've done this i'm then gonna talk you through what i've changed in my routine since august when i was in zim what i did and what um i did when i came back from zim and what i am still doing right now So it's 4am and I'm back from giving my hair a good trim. Um, I think I cut about half an inch to an inch off and before this I had trimmed my hair as well. But even though I trimmed all that I still have some good length so I'm really happy about that. So now let's move on to what I did. Um, once I figured out what had happened to my hair. Thankfully, I took my multivitamins with me to Zimbabwe, so that was a good thing. I took that consistently. I also made sure that I was oiling my scalp. I started doing that consistently. Before this time, oiling my scalp, I used it as a means of just... Um, as a means of covering up dirt so say if I had braids and I'd been wearing it for like six weeks and it started and I started get, getting flaky scalp I would spray my scalp with water and then oil it and that way it would hide the flakes for a few days so that's how I've been doing scalp oiling up until this year July so I was oiling my scalp every few days sometimes every day of the week and it got to a point my scalp got a bit sore I think it was just too much product too much oil on my scalp and it was getting a little bit sore so I eased off a little bit so that those are the two main things that I did and also I put my hair in twist so my hair was in twist the whole time I was in Zimbabwe from July to from from mid July to early August my hair was in twist and when I came back I still had the same twist until about three days ago and we're in September yeah late September this is the 27th of September so it was definitely over two months of keeping the same twist and just moisturizing it one thing I was also doing was moisturizing my hair um, every few days sometimes weekly but definitely keeping on top of my moisturizing routine so when I now came back oh and I was also doing the scalp massages okay um, so when I came back from Zim I started using MSM I had been I'd done a lot of research on MSM I'd heard about it but I'd also heard a lot of bad things about it in terms of getting like nightmares if you took it at night and the headaches and stuff like that so I knew that I didn't want to ingest it so I've been using it topically and I did research how to safely use it topically so I mix a little bit of MSM like a tiny little bit of MSM with aloe vera um, so I have cut up and frozen some aloe vera um, juice that I've blended from the plant keep that in the freezer tore it when I need it um, mix it with some IV dick tea that I make with fenugreek, amla, um, horse still herb, um, rosemary, lavender, um, 
basically anything that I, I find but I definitely always have fenugreek and amla in there and I mix that with the aloe vera juice add the MSM to it and then um, add ginger essential oil peppermint and tea tree so what I've learned from making this hair tea is that I've been using way too much glycerin and it makes my hair go quite sticky. So I'm just literally going to pour like a tiny bit in there. So it should be 2% of your, of all of your recipe. Then we're going to follow up with the MSM. So here's the MSM. So I'm going to put this much in there. I'd say that's probably like half a teaspoon. So shake, shake, shake. I put that on my scalp and spray it on my hair and use it as a hairspray before I oil my scalp or moisturize my hair and I do that several times a week. What I noticed was that when I came back from Zim, remember I said that the oil was making my scalp sore so I was getting like bumps on my scalp. I used the MSM and what I found was that my scalp came out clean. I wish I, I had been able to like record it but um, with I'm going to install new twists and I will record it for you when because i'm going to leave it until december i was saying to my husband i'm going to do another like almost three months stint and then i'll show you guys what i mean so the msm which is high in sulfur it basically like cuts through the grease on my scalp and it looked like i had washed my hair and i was a maid so all that discomfort went away my scalp felt fine there was no more itching and I looked up does does MSM clean the scalp and it basically cuts through the grease so it's able to like move it and it just goes away so I love that for me I didn't have to wash my hair but my scalp was clean unless maybe you lifted the roots of the twist then you would see that they're all but my scalp was perfect so if you want me to show you how I actually make this hairspray for my hair comment below and I will make that video for you so yeah basically that's what has changed in my routine since I realized that my hair fell out due to that sickness I have been quite desperate to, to grow it back no idea why I think maybe because I was quite attached to the progress that I had made and I was upset that something that happened out of my control caused all my hard work to just fall out literally so yeah so just to recap what I've been doing it differently um including everything that i told you about in my previous video about my hair fall story so in that video i was doing ayurveda herbs i was doing protein treatments um i was also taking my supplements which i am still doing taking supplements still doing ayurveda the only thing that i have introduced is um oiling my scalp with ayurveda oil um using ayurveda hairspray with msm um moisturizing more frequently and uh, more or less keeping my hair in twist 99.999 percent of the time so that's what i've been doing and as you can see i cut my hair in um in january and i think it was about here and now look where it is so i'm not mad at it i've also been like um dusting my ends because the, the aim since January, because I also cut too much of my hair, that really upset me. <laughs> so I decided that I wasn't going to cut my hair, that I was going to just dust. And I'm so proud of myself um, that I was able to do that until now when I actually had to because my hair had broken and I needed to sort of fill it out and just trim it so it can you know be in the best condition to grow back even healthier. So yeah, that is my hair update 
as always I'm going to link all the products I used including the um, the shampoo that I used to wash my hair because I hadn't washed my hair for about two months I used the I used a clarifying shampoo I'm gonna put that here I can't I can't remember the name of that but I was gifted this product and I loved it it's very moisturizing it's made with charcoal and all sorts very good the the shampoo brand is hello clean so it's um, a hard water brand so they have like shower filters and all that so their products are mainly geared towards people who live in hard water areas to be able to get all those um, metallic stuff out of your hair if you wash your hair with hard water but that is the perfect shampoo for um, clarifying your hair it was it made my hair feel really soft and yeah I love it so definitely try it if you're interested but I will link all the products in the description box and as always thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video bye